everybody! My name is Mike, and I'm an actor with the Bookworm Players. Now, I'm also a dancer and a choreographer. Do you know what that word means? That's a big long word, isn't it? A choreographer is somebody who makes up dances. That sounds like a fun job, doesn't it? And it is, it's so much fun, but it's a lot of hard work as well. And today, we are going to make up our very own dance routine. Would you all like that? I hope so. So I hope you've got some really, really good ideas because we're going to talk today about characters and feelings and then we are going to make up our very own dance routine. Now, working on a lot of shows like I do, you have to meet lots and lots of different types of people. Meeting people can be really, really exciting, can't it? And we always want to make sure that when we meet people for the first time, that we make a really, really good first impression. That means when people meet us, they know that we're nice and kind and friendly. Now, sometimes we can say nice words, can't we, to show people that we want to be their friend. We might say, hello, or how are you? But sometimes people are a little bit shy and they don't like to speak straight away. So, they like to say hello by using some actions. Now, can you think of an action that we could come up with to say hello to somebody that we've met for the first time? I want you to think about how our faces might look and what we might do with our hands and our bodies and think of a really, really nice way that we could greet somebody to show them that we want to be their friend. Have a little think and then we'll come up with our ideas. Now you may want to pause the video while you practice a movement as a nice way of greeting someone. It can be as big or as small as you like. A simple action or a grand dance movement. Hello everybody, how did you get on? Did you all think of an action that you could come up with to say hello? Uh, oh, look, there we go. I've come up with an action already and I didn't even mean to do it. <laughs> this is the best way to say hello to somebody, isn't it? By waving at them. That means that even if somebody doesn't speak the same language as us, or if somebody's a little bit shy, no matter where you're from, no matter how old or young you are, you can always say hello to somebody by waving, can't you? Now, were there any other actions that you thought of? A nice, friendly way to let somebody know that you want to be their friend? Brilliant! We've got some thumbs up. That's a really good way to show somebody that you like them, isn't it? Or this is something that we don't do very much anymore and I miss it a lot, is a big high five. Can you all do a virtual high five to me now? Ready? One, two, three. High five! <laughs> but the most important thing that we need to remember when we want to be somebody's friend is to always have a nice, friendly face. And the best way to do that is by smiling at people. Smiling is infectious and you can pass that along. I guarantee that if you see somebody and you smile at them, they will definitely, definitely smile back. Try it now. The next time that you see somebody, I want you to give them a big smile and see if they smile back and I bet they do. Now, this afternoon, I'm inviting some of my friends around to have a party and I'm so, so excited. I love having parties, don't you? What are some of your favorite things to do at parties? I know some of my favourite things are when my friends come round, we like to bake cakes and we like to do magic tricks and we like to sing songs and we like to tell stories and telling stories. That is definitely my favourite thing to do. And one of the stories that I've read recently is this fantastic story, The Terribly Friendly Fox by Susanna Lloyd and Ellie Snowden. And some of you might have even done a brilliant workshop with Susanna Lloyd on her book quite recently. Now, in the story, the fox comes to the party and some of the other animals are very, very nervous. The rabbits and the mice and the hedgehogs are a little bit scared of the fox because they think that the fox is a very, very scary and mean character. But when the fox arrives at the party, they realise that he's not really mean and scary. He's actually a lot of fun and he's actually very friendly and he likes to sing songs and he likes to do magic tricks and play games and he isn't scary at all. Well, at least not until the very end he isn't, but we can talk about that later. Now, I'd like you to meet some of my friends that I'm inviting to my party. 
And I want you to see if you can guess what kind of characters my friends are. See if you can tell how they feel by how they look. Have a look at their facial expressions and their body language and see if you can tell whether they're happy characters or sad characters or scared characters. Let's meet them now and see if you can see what type of characters my party guests are. Take a moment to think about the characters and how they're expressing themselves. Would you want to be friends with any of these people? Well done everyone! Now that we've come up with our different greetings and met some of our different types of characters, I want you to think now about some of the different ways that we might feel. Our characters that we just met then had different emotions, didn't they? Some were big and happy emotions, Others were small and sad emotions. Can you think of a way that we could show our emotions by using a dance move? So it could be that we're really happy and we do a move like this. Hey, or something like this. It could be that we're really sad and we do a move like this. Or it could be that we're really shy and nervous and we do a big inward movement like this. We can use our faces, we can use our hands, we can use our legs, we can use whatever we like. So they were some of my ideas. Now I want to see if you can come up with your own ideas. Have a think now about one move that you could do to show one of those emotions. You may want to pause the video so you can spend time on this and you may want to share your move with your friends. Okay everyone, now we're going to start with a nice warm-up to get ourselves ready. So make sure you have plenty of space and copy me. Breathe in and out and in and out. Reach up, breathe out. Now a big head roll round. All the way. In and out. Now reaching your arm up, give a stretch to the side. And to the other side. Now we're going to march on the spot. Get those knees nice and high, and get those arms lifted as well. Into jumps, here we go. Now twist your body. Now we're going to do some star jumps. Now we're going to roll our shoulders back. Back. And two. Very good. Now arms up. One, two, three, four. Take your arms up to the back of your head and stretch your neck forward. 
Step together, step, clap. 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 Then stretch. Then and stretch. And then and stretch. Heel out and in. And then and stretch. And then and stretch. And then Heel out and in. Shake, 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 shake. Side and side. Shake, 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 shake. Side and side. Shake to the side and side. Shake, 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 shake. shake side. Now step top. Step top. Step top. Very good. Now we can lift our leg up and back and back and down, back and back and down, and lift and back and back and down, and lift and back and back and down, back to marching. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Excellent. Lift up and shake it out. Shake your whole bodies. Very good, everyone. Well done. Okay, everybody. Now that we're nice and warm, it's time to learn our dance routine. So, as well as doing the movements, I want you to think about acting it out as well with your faces and playing those characters. Our dance routine is going to be all about getting ready to go to a party. Woohoo! Our favourite thing. So, I want you to think about how exciting it can feel to go to our party. So, we're going to start our dance routine lying down on the floor like we're fast asleep. And the first part of the routine is going to be us pretending to wake up in the morning on the day of our party, thinking about all the things that we might do when we first wake up, okay? Let's give that a try. So, I'm going to lie down and I'm going to show you how we're going to be fast asleep in there. And then we wake up, oh, and then we do a big stretch. Maybe oh, give our eyes a roll. And then we stand up, oh, and then we have a little stretch, oh, oh, and then oh, we remember that it's the day of our party. I was so excited. <laughs> then we're going to start our dance by taking four steps forward. One, two, three. Very good. Now remember to use our arms as well. And then once we've done our four walks, we do a big slide to the side. And then we pick up our party clothes. And we take a slide to the side. And we pick up some more clothes. And then we're going to have a look at them. And we're going to decide what are we going to wear. Very good. Then we're going to get dressed for our party. So we're going to put our clothes on this arm. And put our clothes on this arm. And then we're going to do a big jump together with our legs and a shimmy. And we're going to lift our arms right the way up. Very good. Shall we try that from our four walks? Ready? Here we go. So we're going to move backwards. Here we go. After four. One, two, three, four. Walk, two, three, four. Slide and pick up. And slide and pick up. And have a look at each one. Putting our clothes on. And putting our clothes on. And shimmy. Excellent. After that, you're going to give your shoulders a brush like this. Brush, brush. And then the other shoulder. Brush, brush. Very good. Well done. So we're going to do brush, 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 brush. Then we're going to lift up our arms as though we're putting a big fancy party hat on our head. So it goes all the way up and onto our heads. Very good. Then we're going to walk around in a circle like we're on our way to our party. So nice big arms as well. So we're going to do eight walks around in a circle. Are we ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good. Now sometimes 
When we're going to a party full of people, it can be a little bit nerve-wracking, can't it? And we might be a little bit shy before we go in. So I want you to show me how we might look nervous and shy by knocking our knees together like this and cover our hands with our eyes. But then we remember what we said before about being friendly and doing our nice, happy, friendly greetings. So we think about our greeting. And then I want you to show me that action you came up with before. So maybe it's a big thumbs up, or maybe it's a wave, or maybe it's a nice big smile, or maybe it's your high five. Shall we try all of that from the beginning? Let's give it a go, ready? So, we're here on the floor, and we're fast asleep, and we wake up. Ooh, nice big yawns and stretches. Oh, and then we remember it's the party day! We're really excited! <laughs> then we do our one, two, three, four, slide and pick up. And slide and pick up. And we look. And what are we going to wear? This arm. And this arm. And shimmy. Excellent! A brush, brush, a brush. Push and hat goes on. Then we do four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nervous, two, three, four. Remember and happy. Very good, guys. Well done. Okay, everybody. So for the next part of our dance, we're going to do three big points up to the sky like this. Ready? One, two, three. Very good. Then again the other way. One, two, three. And then we're going to play an imaginary game of pass the parcel. So I want you to pretend that somebody is passing you the parcel. We do a big circle and we pass it to the next person. Then we do it again. Grab the parcel, big circle, and pass it to the next person. Very good. Well done. Then I want you to pretend that we're eating some really, really yummy party food. So we're going to do um, 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 like we're eating birthday cake or a pack of crisps or chocolate or some of other favourite snacks. Then we do a big mmm, mmm, mmm. Excellent. Then we do the same the other way. Uh, one, two, three, four, eating that yummy food and then mmm, mmm, mmm. Very good. Well done, guys. Then I want to show you your best floss. <laughs> Fantastic! Now, this is the best part of the whole dance. I want you to show me your best dance moves. So thinking about a greeting move that you did before, you could do that. Or maybe you could show me something with your arms, like this. Or something with your legs, like this. Or maybe something all together with your whole body, like this. I'm going to do a big wave like this. Wave, 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 wave. So when I do my wave, that's going to be your signal to show you your best dance moves. Is that all nice and clear? Excellent. Let's do the last little bit of our routine very, very slowly, and then we'll put the whole thing together. Ready, everyone? Here we go. So we start with our points. A one, two, three. A one, two, three. And pass the parcel. And pass the parcel and eat and eat and eat and eat and yummy, yummy, yummy. And eat and eat and eat and eat and yummy, yummy, yummy. And floss at two, one, three, and four. Very good. Then your own moves are one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. And then we're going to finish with a big spin. Ta da! Just like that with big hands. Can you all do that for me? Well done, everybody! Now that you know all of the movements, let's put it all together without stopping. So we're going to go all the way through, but don't worry, I'm going to tell you what bit's coming next, and you're just going to follow along, and then is the really exciting part. Then we can try it with music! Are you ready? Brilliant! Can you show me your starting positions? Going to sleep on the floor, here we go! Right then, we're fast asleep on the floor. And we wake up. Ooh. Big stretching, oh, rubbing our eyes, 
and get some slowly big stretch. Oh, and then we remember, oh, it's party day, I'm so excited. <laughs> then we we'll do our one, two, three, four, slide and pick up, and slide and pick up, and roll and choose, and on it goes, on it goes, shimmy and up, and push and push and push and push, and put the hat onto our head. Walk, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nervous, 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 then we remember that we're happy. And one, and two, and three, and one, and two, and three, and pass the parcel over, and pass the parcel over. Then eat the party food, and mmm, 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 and eat the party food, and mmm, mmm, mmm. Then I want to do a three, a four, very good, then you own movement. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, we tear and finish. Well done, everybody. Now let's try that all from the beginning, this time with some music. Too. We had such a great time, didn't we? Just like all of the characters in our story. They had a great time at their party as well, didn't they? Although, actually, although all the characters had a really, really fun time at the party with Gerald, a lot of the characters seemed to disappear by the end of the story. Hmm. Do you think that Gerald really was a friendly fox? Well, anyway, I've had a good time today and I hope you all have too. You were so fantastic coming up with all of your actions and all of your greetings and all of your dance moves. I'm really, really impressed. And remember everybody, the best way to show everybody that you are a nice, friendly person is by doing our nice, kind actions. Our thumbs up, our wave, and most importantly, our nice, kind smile. Thank you everyone, bye. Has he gone? Oh, good. I'm having a party myself later, everybody. And here's the good news. You're all invited. What? You don't want to come? But why? I'm a terribly friendly fox. <laughs>